Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hey guys, so it's my birthday today and I decided to redo my birthday nails because, well, I get bored now that I know how to do nails. So I just, you know, figured why not? And it's fall, so I am going to do what my take is on a fall set, I guess. Um, so I'm prepping my hands really quickly here with some nail dehydrator and then I go in with my primer and then I am going to glue on these coffin tips. These are full cover tips, but I don't do full cover. I go up, you know, like three quarters of the way. I am going to be using the base coat from SXC Bridal Series to glue my tips on. I think their base coat is the best base coat. It's super thick. It's really, really amazing. So I'm just gonna shut up now and let you watch me do that real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot, um, SXC Cosmetics reached out to me and they asked me to become a brand ambassador. So I now have a code. It is a 10% off um, code for when you go online and purchase anything, you can get 10% off. So I will link that down below in the description box and I will have that pop up right here on the screen below. Um, I was super excited, so, you know, it's been a goal of mine. Even though it's necessarily free to be a brand ambassador, the fact that they asked me to do so and they offered me a code and, you know, because I have a following. So if you guys are going to make any purchases from their website, I hope you use my code. So I'm going to shut up now and let you finish watching me put these nails on. So I've passed the 100 subscriber mark, guys. Yay! I really appreciate every single one of you. I am going to do another giveaway after this one once I reach 150 subscribers. I am going to try to do as many giveaways as I can possibly afford. Um, even though I am a brand ambassador with SXC Cosmetics, they are not sending me any products for free. Everything that I review and test and make looks with, I purchase on my own. And also the kits I'm giving away, I purchase on my own. So anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. So, so that's my witch finger, guys. <laughs> I just don't know if you guys ever noticed and it drives me nuts, but I have like a permanent jammed lump finger from when I can remember as a child. So anyways, I always tease myself and call it my witch finger. Thought it was like, you know, fitting for almost Halloween time. So I'm a dork guys. Anyways, we are almost done putting on these tips and then I am going to shape and file these even more. And I do that off camera. And then afterwards I use my e-file to take like the shine off and blend the tips into my nail bed. So I'm gonna shut up and let you watch me do that.
just using a regular sanding band that came with this e-file. Um, I really like them, so I'll link everything I am using down below in the description box as best as I can remember. Okay, so now that we're finished with that, I'm going to take my alcohol cleansing spray and take all the nail dust off of my nails as good as I can get them. You can always go wash your hands too. You don't have to like use that. I just do it so I don't have to keep getting up back and forth. So anyways, um, I'm going in with my base coat and I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. So this stuff right here um, is the best stuff I've ever used for slip solution. It never takes the color or anything out of the poly gel. I love it. So as usual, I do one hand off camera because I never know where I'm going with anything. Um, I didn't top coat the thumb because I wasn't sure if I was gonna put any more rhinestones or not. I really like the simplicity of this, so I just left it as it is. So we're going to get into it. I hope you guys like it. I know it's not typical like autumn because it's more of a mauve blushed tone poly gel, but I really like it. I am having a giveaway guys. Don't forget that ends September 28th. I'll link it above in the cards, the video that has all the rules. Um, it's going to be a temperature changing poly gel kit. Remember with the mini lamp, so Enter, enter, enter. So I'm just going in with base coat on this hand um, and then I cure that for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna shut up and then uh, pop back up in a sec. So I'm using the shade Blessed from the SXC Bridal Series. I really, really fell in love with it when I was swatching it in the last video and I was just like, I'm gonna use this to make a fall set and I'm just gonna go with it, so. Okay, so I am using the double bead method. Um, I am going in with the tip bead right now on all the tips and I basically just go down one side with my poly gel brush, bringing the poly gel down and just forming it to the nail tip. And then I go on the other side and I only go down so far because we're doing a double bead method. So you don't want it to be overly thick, you know, as well. So I'm just gonna shut up now and let you watch me work.
I do each nail tip before I cure. I don't cure in between because it takes me way too long if I try to do one tip and then cure and then the next tip and then cure. So I have gotten good enough to where I can just do each nail and then cure them all at the same time because that cuts down my application time like in half. So I just thought I would put that out there if anybody's watching for tips and a way to like, you know, um, speed up doing nails with poly gel because it does take a long time when you have to cure each nail and you're doing so many steps or an ombre or encapsulation. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't cure in between. I do all of the tips and then I cure them all at the same time. Sorry if you guys keep hearing that bird chirping in the background. I am in the bathroom and it's just so loud no matter where I go, so bear with me. Okay, so now that I'm done, before I cure, I take my maple leaves and I apply them to the tip of the index nail. Then I cure for 120 seconds. Next we take our cuticle bead and put that on all the nail beds. I really like building my apex this way with the double bead method. It's so much easier to um, you know, shape it to get near the cuticle line without flooding it, in my opinion. And you can always, you know, take your poly gel brush if there's too much near the cuticle line and swipe around just to create a little bit of a space so it doesn't flood the cuticle area. And then basically I pat really lightly and really gently strokes towards the tip of the nail from the bottom to blend it out.
Just a reminder, it's the same thing for the cuticle bead. I apply the cuticle bead to all of the nail beds first and then I cure them all at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish applying the maple leaves to the index and pinky finger. And I do cap them with McCart's Clear Poly Gel. And I do cure this for 120 seconds. And I do another additional cure with the Clear Poly Gel for 120 seconds as well. And I do file and shape them off camera. So I will pop back up after that's over. So once it's finished curing, you want to make sure you go in with some slip solution or alcohol or I use my alcohol spray and wipe off the tacky layer so nothing gets stuck and it's not all gross. So I'm going to go ahead and file and then I'll be back. And here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and take my alcohol spray again and take all the nail dust off and then I will apply my rhinestones and top coat. I'm gonna shut up and let you guys watch me do that too. Sorry guys, I was just really digging my nails. I fell in love with these so much. I love this shade, it's amazing. Remember, I always go in with my nail gel glue and then a layer of top coat in order to apply my rhinestones and they never fall off. Believe me, I cook, I clean, I have five kids and I do so much with my hands and I rarely have a stone that falls off.
I always cure my rhinestone fingers for 120 seconds. So now we're just gonna go in with top coat and do a final cure for 60 seconds and we're done. Don't forget ladies to always swipe the sides after top coat before you cure to make sure you retain your shape. And there we are. I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I know I talked a lot in this one. Sorry guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.